Hey guys, Dividing by Zero here, and welcome to the answer portion of my Q&A, AMA, whatever you want to call it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, about a week ago I made a video saying I was going to be going on vacation for about a week, I had a lot of fun by the way, and that I wanted to have some questions to answer when I got back, and boy did you all deliver. I have exactly 80 comments on this video now that I'm sitting here looking at it, and that's just awesome, thanks to all of you who uh, made, who submitted questions, uh, who commented anything, really. I, all, everyone was really nice. <laughs> and so, yeah, the way I'm going to do it, I'm just going to start from the top comments and go down to the bottom. If there are repeats, sorry, your comment wasn't popular enough. <laughs> and yeah, so let's get started here. First question is from Kevin M. Kwan's second channel. I want to see your main channel, dude. Uh... What is your 12-man dream team featuring Overwatch League contender, free agent, and streamer? Well, I would have to probably do all Overwatch League because really, I think if you put any contender, free agent, streamer person, you can probably find someone in the Overwatch League that's better, if not about the same. Uh, I'm not gonna, I can't really think of a 12-man roster right now, but I'll pop it up on the stream right, uh, screen, sorry, I'll pop it up on the screen right about now. And you all can take a look at it and yell at me for my choices in the comments. That's cool. There you go. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, Robo Ninja Man asks, Why do you make me feel like a bad YouTuber? Well, maybe it's just because you're ugly. Got him. Randy Buttercups asks, Where do you think the next Overwatch League cities will be? What are some players you think will be let go by their current teams? I think that no team is going to let go of any player that has seen a significant amount of playtime. There are rumors of like the Shanghai Dragons wanting to be like a Chinese team, so they're gonna let go of all the Korean players. I kind of doubt that. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say what teams will be, what players will be let go by their current teams, because there's probably gonna be a lot. That's all stuff that we can, uh, that's all stuff that's just kind of gonna shake out as we go. Um, as far as next Overwatch League cities will be, I really want for them, they'll only really make like one new USA team and that's going to be like in the Midwest, like in Chicago or something. And then I want them to get more international. I want to see a Korean, uh, sorry, not Korean. I want to see a can Canadian team for sure. I want to see a Canadian team. I think that uh, there's too big of an audience in Canada for them not to have a team. Uh, we also have uh, some more uh, EU teams would be awesome. Like, maybe one in Berlin. That Wasn't that one, like, kind of confirmed? I don't even remember. Uh, Berlin was kind of confirmed. I kind of want to see France. I want to see a French team. That'd be cool. Uh, Australian team? That might be interesting. The, the big downside of that is traveling there. I don't know if there's enough of an Australian team uh, group for that. I do think that having one team down there would be cool. But there's also some downsides to it. Uh, Tokyo, Japan, some somewhere in Japan would be cool. I, I also don't know what the Japanese, uh, what the Japanese look, how the Japanese Overwatch audience looks. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So that that's all that comes out of my, that's all comes, that's what comes to my head. <laughs> I'm stuttering all over the place. JK for the win says, you've deserved it, been here for a few months now. Thanks, man. My AMA question is, what rank are you on PC? P.S. My suggestion is that off-season Overwatch League, you can do an Overwatch news like Stye, Overwatch Central. Ew. First of all. Um, <laughs> not ew. I, I respect Overwatch Central and Stylosa and what they do. But part of my thing about being a YouTuber is I want to do things that I actually I enjoy. I don't think I would really enjoy just spouting off Overwatch news all the time. Um, maybe certain topics that I'm interested in, but just all the news? No. Um, also, I like feeling like I'm at least kind of unique like in the Overwatch uh, scene in the Overwatch YouTube scene I'm kind of doing things that not many people are doing uh, you know we can talk about how I, I take ideas I take format ideas from a youtuber called urinating tree but I am the only person doing that in the Overwatch League I'm the only person who is transferring that to esports at all as far as I know so that's kind of that's kind of my thing. I want to feel like I'm unique, and if I feel like I'm doing what everyone else is doing, I'll just get bored. Anyways, uh, my rank on PC is 20, 20 hundred, <laughs> two thousand. I'm a low gold player. Uh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> low gold. Don't laugh at me. AMA or Q and A? Uh, I like AMA better. Uh, personally, 
Uh, Q&A, they both accomplish the same thing. By the way, this is by It Says Alex. It says, also, what are your thoughts on the Stoke thread? Because he's my favorite Overwatch League player. I hope that he gets uh, a chance on maybe one of the expansion teams. I think he's a talented player and just hasn't really had a chance because it's really hard to get out there as a, as a good DPS player in the Overwatch League because there's so many. Uh, but I think he... I think he should have more of a chance to be in the starting role because he every time he comes in he hasn't really done bad. He's been pretty good the whole time. Um Gamer Jackpot says Hey dividing what's a peace nut? Just explain to the normies who don't know, please. It's a meme that was in my Discord server. We talk we say peace nut a lot. Uh I don't even know how it started actually. People just started saying it. They started doing the peace sign and the and the peanut sign emoji in the in the Discord and Turned into peace nut, and now we have a peace nut emoji in the Discord. You should join the Discord. It's kind. Of, it we should. Uh, don't let it die, please. <laughs> yeah, that's a peace nut. Um, Charlie Drissel asks, um, which eight countries will make it to BlizzCon in the Overwatch World Cup? Will be the roster. Rosters have been released. Ooh, I'll put my I'll put my eight teams on the screen like I did for my team because I can't think of them right now. But I'll I'll put them on the screen for you, Charlie. Thanks for your question. Um. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Yes, how did you come up with your name? Okay. So, before I started playing Overwatch, I played Minecraft PvP a lot. And I still, I was only like pre really pretty good at it. I got pretty good at it. But anyways, you know, when you kill someone, it would say, Blank was slain by Blank in the chat. And so I would be like, <laughs> it would be funny if I said, if I named myself dividing by zero. So it would say, blank was slain by dividing by zero. Like you tried to divide by zero and then it killed him. Because, you know, that was a joke. You divide by zero, you try to divide by zero and you, it explodes. Or you open up a black hole or some shit like that. <laughs> and so that's, that's how that worked. Uh, Max Brunel says, what rank is your sister and does she like Overwatch League also? So for those of you who don't know i have a sister who plays overwatch a lot like i stopped playing overwatch for about a year or so and got back into it she never stopped she looked she really never stopped i know she's plat she's a plat player uh on a mercy main um i don't know exactly what it is she doesn't uh pay much attention to overwatch league though toby way says where are my fellow nuts at Yo, anyone who, any fellow nuts for Toby Way here, uh, say, uh, Natobi in the chat. Like, N-U, Toby. That's how, that's how you know where your fellow nuts got, Toby. Thank you. Fireball Overwatch says, what is your personal Overwatch rank, main heroes, and level? So, I already talked about my rank. My main, my main heroes are, let me see. So, for DPS, I like playing Soldier. I also like playing Tracer, but I'm bad at her. Same for Widowmaker. Like, these, those, those, Heroes that I barely get to play at all. I enjoy playing them, but I never get to play them very much. As far as tanks, I like D.Va. And, well, I, I like D.Va. I really like Zarya, but I'm bad at her. At the same. I always, I always, I'm bad at sh uh, really determining when shields are the best, when best to do shields. I'm trying to get better at Zarya. I'm playing her a lot more lately. Uh, and I, I like D.Va less, but I'm better at her, basically. And, and I also like Roadhog. I'm more of an off-tank player than a main-tank player, but I will flex on the main-tank if I have to. And as far as supports, I play Zenyatta and Bri Brigitte sometimes. And also, if I have to flex onto a main support hero, I'll usually do Moira. Shashwat Sahe says, Favorite Overwatch League player, and who would you want to be signed into the Overwatch League? I don't have a favorite player. I really don't. I kind of, I'm kind of in a situation where I legitimately don't like anyone. Don't, <laughs> I legitimately don't hate anyone. Um, as far as who I'd want to be signed to the Overwatch League, I don't know anything about the tier two scene. Uh, that's something I want to get more into. I want to, uh, I want to be able to talk about more contenders players and and watch more contenders streams. But it's something I know almost nothing about, so I can't do much about that. Uh, Axel says, which is your worst Overwatch hero to play? Hmm, I'm bad at a lot of heroes, so this makes it hard. <laughs> as far as heroes that are the worst to play, I guess I'd say Ana because I literally, like, have, like, never played Ana, <laughs> Like, at all. Uh, also, I, like, never play Sombra, so I probably, I'm probably shit at her, too. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. Ana, and to a lesser extent, Sombra. Sombra is a little easier because, you know, she has the hit scan gun, but... What are... Can you say anything in Swedish? No. 
What are your future plans? Um, I want to make, I have, like I said, I have some uh, end of season kind of things to make. I'll also make some Overwatch World Cup content, uh, stuff like that. I have, I have plans, don't worry. Uh, this channel probably, prob hopefully won't die. I have, I have more things to make. And I think uh, I have creative things that people aren't doing to make, right? So I, I, I have ideas. I have plans. Don't worry. It's, it's going to be fun. What is your opinion of the new hero, Wrecking Ball slash Hammond as Damien Depp? Uh, my opinion on the new hero is that he looks fun. I think it'll be fun to swing around and, and ram into people. That'll be cool. As far as that, I haven't gotten much of a chance to play him. I played around with him in the PTR a little bit in the practice range. I think that he has potential to maybe replace D.Va in a lot of comps. I think that he has a lot more devastating dive potential. Like, he would, like you put D.Va in there to try and protect the Winston, right? But Hammond, you would throw in there, and he would just do damage. Uh, you would do damage. So you get damage, and you lose a little more of that peel potential and vertical mobility. Because uh, Hammond has vertical mobility, but it's hard to get it right. Yeah, so that that's my opinion on Hammond. Hooked on a Thieven says, Do you have like a guilty pleasure team? A team you don't know is bad or is just playing far worse than they have any reason to, but you can't help but root for them. Uh, and then what is your favorite team? Because that, that kind of is the same thing, because I my favorite team is the San Francisco Shock. Uh, and that is because they're kind of a team that is bad. I wouldn't even call them very bad right now. They're like me mediocre now. But they're kind of a team that they can win against any team if everything goes right you know like they can put everything together and make it work and that's what i love about watching them i love seeing that i love uh that they're kind of all over the place right now but there's a constant upward trajectory when it comes to the shock and i think that's cool i was also drawn in them from the beginning because like i said my minecraft background so dante was the only player i actually knew in the overwatch league before then and orange is my favorite color so yeah uh healing boost says honestly just happy for you dad thanks uh <laughs> squidwater says now that you're a big shot will you forget about me and my one bit donations uh sorry who are you uh <laughs> Mark Acri says, have you considered doing content for other games besides Overwatch? Uh, briefly, I kind of want to stay on the Overwatch so I can develop an Overwatch scene. Overwatch, uh, sorry, an Overwatch community. If it is other games, I want it to be games with esports scenes. So maybe League of Legends, Dota. I've, I've played a, I've kind of downloaded League of Legends recently and have played a couple games of it. Uh, I still have, barely have an idea what I'm doing, but yeah. <laughs> So, when will we see a face reveal, says Yannick? Uh, a billion subscribers. <laughs> the face reveal is something that, it'll just come when I'm ready for it. It's not, it's not something that I uh, really want to do right now. So, my face will remain hidden until further notice. That's all I got. Toxic Gaming, who do you think is going to win the World Cup? Uh, the NYXL, aka South Korea. Why is your opinion on pineapple on pizza wrong? Why was your life wrong, Max Card? <laughs> Go away. Go. Get out. <laughs> okay, legit. Why would you like pineapple on pizza? It's pizza. There's so many other options, dude. You just shut up. <laughs> shut up. Pineapple on pizza is not necessarily wrong, I'd say, but it's like the worst option in so many better options. That's my opinion. Pineapple pizza isn't necessarily bad, but it's the worst of a bunch of better things. So, yeah, fuck pineapple on pizza. <laughs> How long do you think Overwatch League is going to last? Hopefully for a long time, because that's what my entire channel is based around. <laughs> when do you start playing Overwatch? Do you think you'll ever make it to the Overwatch League? No, it's never happening. I'll just stay on the sidelines and, and yell at the people who are actually playing. That's, that's, that's me. I'm never going to be good enough to play in the Overwatch League. Who is your favorite Overwatch streamer? I'm gonna go with Emong, uh, who is who has just assigned a streamer contract with the Philadelphia Fusion, which is awesome. I love I love. A few times I have watched him, he just seems like a really cool guy, really chill. He tries his best to stay positive all the time, and he likes playing off tank a lot of the time, which is uh, a group of heroes that I enjoy and want to get better at playing at. So I like watching Emong. 
What drew you into playing Overwatch? Why do you love Overwatch? I love Overwatch because of all the different characters that you can play that have all these different play styles. When I'm playing a game in Quick Play, I'll be like, you know, I want to play Zenyatta this game, but this game I want to play Roadhog, and this game I want to play Soldier, you know, and I'll just like play all these different things and that's how the game never really gets boring for me. I feel like if I pigeonholed myself into playing one hero all the time I'd get bored. But it's not like that. I can keep on playing whatever game I whatever hero I want, whatever play style I want. And that that's what I think is that's what I think is cool. Who is the biggest meme in Overwatch League? Oh gosh, the memes are I will say my favorite meme was the sanitize meme. I love the sanitize meme, okay? Uh, <laughs> I thought it was funny and wholesome. So, yeah, sanitized meme, best meme. That should have stayed longer. Which division do you think will win the All-Stars match? Well, whichever team has the NYXL, pretty much. What is your favorite Sean Kingston song, and which character from Overwatch best characterizes that song, and why? <laughs> Thanks, Diego. Oh, man. My favorite Sean... Okay, Sean Kingston, by the way. Never heard of him. He is uh, by far the musical artist of the century, and he deserves much more. He is a lyrical genius. Um, I think my favorite song is Fire Burning, <laughs> which, you know, you, you, you think of it and you go like, you know, and Sean Kingston said, somebody call 911, shoddy fire burning on the dance floor. I felt that, you know, like in my chest. <laughs> and, uh, which character from Overwatch best characterizes that song? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of the uh, team uh, team that uses fire. Uh, I'll go Reinhardt because of the way he dances with his uh, with his hammer. That that's on point, dude. He 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 obviously practices, man. If you had the power to control when new heroes got released, how often would you release them? I would say maybe t three or four new heroes a year. So I think that. Over, I think that uh, Blizzard's doing a good job spacing them out. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I'll say. I think Blizzard's doing a good job with the, what they're doing right now, releasing new heroes um, in a way that kind of gives people something new to look forward to all the time, but not overloading us all at once. We can talk about how Brigida was like, how she destroyed a meta just by existing, but as far as just how many are coming out, I think Blizzard's doing a great job. Uh, how old are you? P.S. I love you. Love you too, Z Zaiv. Uh, I am 18. Uh, who is your best Overwatch League player and why is it Carpe? Because Carpe's clutch. Can we be friends? Says d Dog. Sure. Ha happy how are you, best friend? <laughs> uh, Ray Dawes is Unko or Jonak? Uh, Jonak object is objectively better, right? Uh... 7-Eleven was a part-time job. It is. Were you inspired by urinating re? No, but I was inspired by urinating tree. Okay. <laughs> urinating tree is hilarious, and yes, he's a, probably the biggest inspiration for me when I make my content. At least he was. Now I just kind of use his format and try and put my own thing, spin on things. I'll, and that's kind of why when I talk about my haters guides, a couple of people have, have commented and they're like, oh, you're not hating on him. And they're kind of right. And some people in the comments suggested that I call them the casuals guides instead of the haters guides. So just let me know in the comments what you think of that, if that's what you're interested in or not. Because um, I, I can totally change it. And I do, I do want to like be clear that I am not attempting to copy urinating tree. I want to be my own person, but just kind of use his formats to push my own thoughts along because the way he does it is he's very it's very organized and very well put together but i want to put my own personality into things that that's kind of my thing i want to be using his format but be clearly my own person and my own personality that that's what i'm trying to do is dante the best minecraft player in the overwatch league well he kind of is so he's the only one right <laughs> i mean yeah that works uh, Smasher Pass Gaguri, however you spell her name. I wouldn't smash Gaguri. I wouldn't. Um, she's more someone I'd want to hug than smash. So I kind of want to just, like, pat her on the head and be like, Hey, everything's okay, you know? <laughs> You're doing good, Gaguri. You're doing good, you know? I think she needs that more than sex. What interests you so much about Overwatch and Overwatch League and not other games like Fortnite or Rainbow Six Siege? Um... 
I think maybe a little bit of a desire to be different, right? Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, very, very good games, popular games, uh, but everyone's doing them. There aren't, so many people are jumping ship going from Overwatch to Fortnite, right? And that's because that's what interests them, and that's great. But we're getting kind of a void in Overwatch content creators now. And a lot of people who played Overwatch a lot are moving over to other games, and I want to be one of those people that can try and fill in that void in Overwatch content creators. Because Overwatch, Overwatch is not dead. People say it's dead, but it is not dead at all. People still play it. It's still like, you know, the, the Overwatch League uh, broadcasts still get quite a, quite a few views. I don't think it's dead, guys. And I think people are jumping shit, but we need to try and fill in that void of content creators, and hopefully I can help do that. If you were given the opportunity to play for any team in the Overwatch League, I assume, which team would you join? Uh, the Excelsior, because I like to win. <laughs> any opinion on the drama Overwatch League had with XQC, and what do you think about the second league of pro play, aka Contenders? What would you change about the format? I wouldn't change anything about Contenders right now, except maybe just like compensating the players better. I think that if you're trying to cultivate a second tier of uh, pro Overwatch, then you need to Top, you need to do more to compensate them and make uh, c pursuing that career worth it, you know? Because right now, it seems like if you're not in the Overwatch League, you can't pursue Overwatch full-time. And that, that needs to change if we want to have a sustainable uh, pro scene for Overwatch. As far as the whole XUC drama, I don't want to get into that too much now because it, it's way in the past, honestly. I'll just say that... XQC, I see him on his streams. He seems a lot happier and, you know, good on him. I'm glad he's happy and I'm glad that he was able to compete in the Overwatch World Cup because if he wasn't, that would just be unfair. Zebtech asks, why do people keep sleeping on Boston? They've proven people wrong so many times and now they say they're going to lose to Philly. It's because um, they've also proven people wrong when they said they were going to be good. Zebtech, they're, they're like almost as streaky as Philly, right? You have... Well, okay, their team is, like, good, right? You look at their team, and everyone is good. But when Striker isn't playing Tracer, you don't have any standout players. And that's kind of what it is about Boston. Like, everyone's good, everyone works really well together, but no one is, like, stand out when Striker, unless, unless when we had the point when Striker was playing Tracer, and Striker was amazing at Tracer. Um, yeah, so, that... That, that's that. That's why I don't love uh, Boston in these situations. But hey, they could easily win the whole thing. And I would be super happy for them if they did. And yeah, that, yeah, I'm looking at it now. And that is the end of the questions that are not, um, not repeats. So thank you all so much for watching this AMA. I hope you all had a good time and know a little bit more about me. Uh, now I'm going to be going back to making more Overwatch League related videos. And hopefully you enjoy. Thank you all for the money. I've already made like $2 from YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah. Not rolling in it. But, you know, we all got to start somewhere, right? And uh, thank you for 2,500 subs. I can't wait to see where we go in the future. Thank you all. Peace, nut.